So before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. What's up everyone, Movie Man and Nick here, and I just saw the movie The Menu. It starred Ralph Fiennes, Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, John Leguizamo, and Hung Chow, and the director was Mark Malad. So this movie is basically about a young couple travels to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu with some shocking surprises. I do want to say they labeled this film as a comedy horror film, but I wouldn't really call this a comedy. I mean, I laughed like maybe a few times, so I wouldn't really consider it a comedy film. It's more of a suspense horror thriller film. Okay, so this is my personal opinion on the film The Menu. Did I enjoy it? Yes, to a certain extent. I mean, it wasn't that bad of a film. Now, watching the previews for this film, it looked very weird and interesting. And that's exactly what it was. It was very weird, interesting, creepy, and very bizarre. And I mean bizarre. I think the characters did a decent job, but I think out of all the characters, what stood out to me more was uh, Chef, played by Ralph Fiennes. He did an excellent job, and I mean, his character was absolutely creepy. But also, like the other characters, it's not. I'm not saying I don't care about the other characters. It just they didn't stand out as much to me as. Uh, the chef character did. I mean, yeah, they did say their backstories and who they were, but after I left the theater, I already forgot their names, so their characters didn't really stand out as much. But it is interesting how they do tell the story of how they bring these people, these characters, to this deserted remote island, and how some of the characters kind of know each other, and what they did, and how the chef and the other other workers know what they did and how they got all their information. It's very interesting and weird, like I said. But yeah, they're brought to this island and they have this luxury, fancy meal to give basically a kind of a review. To, to, and he says, don't eat the food, taste, enjoy the food. But it was very small, small portions, basically for rich luxury people, you know, very small portions of food. And yes, some of the food is food, but if you watch carefully, if you see the movie and listen carefully, some of the food is something else that they're eating, but I'm not going to say it. You just have to see it. Or if you've seen it, you know what I mean already. So, would I recommend to see this film? Um, I mean, if you like Ralph Fiennes and Taylor Joy or Nicholas Holt or any other characters, like John Leguizamo, um, yeah, I would see it. But honestly, would I see it in a movie theater? Probably not. Just to let you guys know. I would probably wait till it comes out on something else. Demand, Hulu, Netflix, or whatever else is out there. I wouldn't waste your money on seeing this in the movie theater. I would wait. And now it's time for fun facts. Several of the beach scenes were filmed at Driftwood Beach on Jekyll Island, Georgia. John Leguizamo based his character on Steven Seagal. And finally, the lavish food layouts were prepared by renowned French chef Dominique Crenn. Though many of the cast and crew were often tempted to taste the food between takes, they had to be reminded that the food items were props and thus inedible. And that's it, guys. That is my movie review for the menu. Hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash the like button, support, share, hit the notification bell, we'll notify my next video or vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes!